Hello and welcome to another edition of Transfer Talk, where we bring you all the best rumours and gossip in the world of football. With the transfer window looking set to open at the end of July, clubs across Europe are already prepping for action. As always, get your rumours into me at Doogie Critchley or tweet me using the hashtag Transfer Talk. Let's go! We start with a reaction to the huge decision on Monday that saw Man City's two-year European ban overturned. The news meant the Sky Blues can press on with their transfer plans unaffected, and according to reports Pep Guardiola should have an incredible war chest at his disposal. Both The Guardian and The Telegraph are claiming he will have up to £150 million to spend on recruits, with new options in defence the first area the Spaniard intends to sort out. Top of his list is Bayern Munich defender David Alaba, and the Napoli star who keeps popping up in transfer talk, Kalidou Koulibaly. Alaba worked under Guardiola at De Rotten, and could be interested in linking up again at the Etihad. Capable of playing across the back four and in midfield, his versatility makes him a valuable asset to any side. And with just one year of his deal at the Allianz to run, Barna reportedly open to cashing in on him while they can, with his value currently around the £30 million mark. Koulibaly, meanwhile, would be a blockbuster addition at centre-half. With Victor Osserman's massive £74 million move from Lille to Napoli all but confirmed, the partner pay will be eager to recoup some of their expenses. Expenses. Their asking price for Koulibaly is around £70 million, which Manchester City will be willing to meet considering all their issues at the back this season. They still face competition from Liverpool for the Senegalese star, but with cash to burn, the Sky Blues will fancy their chances in the market this summer. With worries the squad may be sold and broken up due to the ban now at rest, Manchester City could emerge from the summer break as strong as ever. Kalidou Koulibaly isn't the only centre-back in Guardiola's sights with Manchester City scouting at Inter Milan Slovakian star Milan Skriniar. However, it appears they are facing mounting pressure for his signature from cross-city rivals Man United. The Red Devils are keen to find a new defensive partner for Harry Maguire, as they are still unconvinced over Victor Lindelof's pedigree. And according to Football Italia, they believe Skriniar perfectly fits the bill. The 25-year-old has been a mainstay in Antonio Conte's defence, making 37 appearances this season. But recent speculation has suggested Conte is growing increasingly open to the idea of selling his star defender. The Nerazzurri could command a price in the region of £54 million for the 25-year-old, and considering the rise of Alessandro Bastoni in recent months, moving Skriniar along could be a clever move. Tuto Sport even claim United have lodged a £58 million bid so far. If that wasn't enough, he was left out of the side for Inter's clash with Torino earlier in July, throwing further doubt on his future at the San Siro. A cheaper and younger alternative to Kalidou Koulibaly, don't be surprised to see the clubs of Manchester fighting it out for Skriniar this summer. If you're enjoying this rundown so far, don't forget to subscribe to Football Daily and hit that notification bell to never miss one of our transfer talks. Our headline story is the news that Chelsea are eyeing up a sensational swap deal that would see faltering star Kepa Aretha Balaga head to Atletico Madrid, in return for keeping sensation Jan Oblak. It will come as no surprise to anyone that Chelsea are fed up with their Spanish stopper with the 25-year-old responsible for a number of blunders this season. The £70 million man is looking like a costly mistake they are determined to move on from. Old Black, meanwhile, has held up his reputation as one of, if not the best goalkeeper in the world, with another fine campaign. The Slovenian has been hugely influential in Atletico's hunt for Champions League glory, as well as stabilising Los Colchoneros in the top four in La Liga after a season where their attackers faltered. The 27-year-old is a hugely popular figure at the Wanda Metropolitano, and only signed a four-year extension to his Atletico contract back in April 2019. But according to the Daily Mirror, Chelsea are keen to exploit one of the loopholes in his deal. They claim Old Black has a release clause of around £120 million, which Chelsea believe they can navigate provided Kepa is part of the equation. The Blues reportedly value Old Black at no more than £100 million, so hope a cash plus Kepa deal could be enough to draw Atletico into negotiations. While it seems unlikely that Diego Simeone's side would consider selling their prized asset, the financial implications of the coronavirus pandemic means a strong offer from Chelsea could be too good to ignore. The Blues have already made some stunning signings this summer, but the arrival of Old Black in place of Kepa would undoubtedly be the pick of the bunch. Last weekend, the Premier League suffered its first casualty of the season, as West Ham condemned Norwich City to relegation. Sadly for the Canaries, the vultures are circling with a number of big clubs eyeing up their young stars. Pick of the bunch is Emiliano Buendia, the Argentine playmaker who has made quite a name for himself this season. Though he may only have one goal and seven assists to his name, as of July the 4th, only four players in the Premier League had created more chances than the 25-year-old. Buendia joined Norwich from Hatafe, and there is every chance he will be heading back to Spain this summer. 
The Daily Mail are among a number of English and Spanish outlets reporting that both Atletico Madrid and Valencia are keen on the midfielder, with bids set to start around £15 million. Buendia may have recently told Sky Sports he is happy at Carrow Road, but the opportunity to swap the championship for a La Liga giant should hardly be sniffed at. Norwich's sporting director Stuart Webber will be delighted to hear his players call for loyalty, after a defiant interview of his own for the Norwich Evening News where he made it clear none of the youngsters would be sold on the cheap. Bids are expected to come flying in for the likes of Ben Godfrey, Todd Cantwell and Max Ahrens, though Webber was adamant the starting price for any negotiation is £20 million. Heading back to Manchester United where Milan Skriniar could be joined there by Leicester City's Ben Chilwell. The England international has been constantly linked with Chelsea in recent months but it appears the Red Devils are ready to steal a march on their London rivals. The Daily Mirror claim Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is determined to sign a new left-back and is even willing to sacrifice Luke Shaw in order to make that happen. Shaw may be showing glimpses of his best again with 20 starts this season, but the emergence of Brandon Williams has seen his position in the starting 11 under threat. Chilwell meanwhile has continued to gain plaudits for his displays this season and looks destined for a move to a top club. And with Chelsea currently spending big on attacking options, United might be better placed to meet Leicester's massive £60 million valuation for their young defender. It appears the Foxes are even preparing for his departure by scouting out Arsenal's Kieran Tierney. The Scotch has suffered a difficult opening season at the Emirates and has reportedly struggled to settle in London. Mikel Arteta may have rubbished these rumours in the press, but the opportunity to link up with his former Celtic manager Brendan Rodgers in Leicester may be too much for the 23-year-old to turn down. Either way, any move for Ben Chilwell could cause a domino effect of transfers in the left-back position. We finish with the new Southampton are expected to confirm a move for Real Valladolid star Mohamed Salisu. The Ghanaian centre-back has been on the watch list of a number of clubs across Europe, but Ralph Hasenotl's side appear to have won the race for his signature after agreeing to pay his £10.9 million release clause. At just 21 years old, Salisu has become a regular starter in La Liga, and at 6'3", strikes a commanding figure at the back. Sky Sports reported that French side Rennes were also so close to landing him, though Salisu has chosen the Saints. With Yannick Vestergaard and Pierre-Emile Hoiberg expected to leave Southampton this summer, the club will see the signing of Salisu as an important step towards building for next season. The Daily Mail are claiming that a work permit is all that stands between this deal being announced, so the Saints should be very happy with this tidy piece of business. So guys, that was transfer talk for another week. What did you guys think of the stories? Did we miss any out? And which of these do you actually see happening? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, as I said earlier, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.